Hello, everybody, and welcome to North Andover, the site of tonight's opener in the FCS football schedule between the College of the Holy Cross Crusaders and the Merrimack College Warriors. So Holy Cross will receive the opening kickoff of the season here as this crowd gets loud here at Dwayne Stadium. And this place is electric. I have been here dozens of times. I used to work in the Northeast 10, of which Merrimack and their Division II were a part of. I have never ever seen this facility, this place, this campus with this much energy. Fifth year doing these games for myself, and this is the most electric I can remember, and we are underway as that ball will bounce through the end zone for a touchback. So a third down and six here for this Holy Cross, Cross offense. Empty backfield, Sluka being rushed. Now he's got to try to get out of there. Slips one tackle and another. Sluka to the outside, cuts back to the middle. Sluka making all sorts of people miss. And finally taken down inside the Merrimack 35. Instead, it's now a third down at the seven. Keeper on the RPO, Sluka to the end zone, and he's in. First rushing touchdown of the season for Matthew Sluka. He had 14 of them last year. It's the first touchdown for Holy Cross, and it's 9-3 Crusaders. Another first down as he got about 10 right to the sticks. At the 25 here, the man in motion is shorter. Drops back to pass. Luca looks to his left. Asante is open. Touchdown, Crusaders. Ayer Asante got a step, and Sluka threw a beauty. Asante's first score of the season. It's 16 3, Crusaders lead. Pretty good start to the second quarter. Three plays. All of them go for 10 or more yards. That was a beautiful throw here from Sluka to Asante. I mean, he had a step, John, but this ball was thrown perfectly. I mean, he made that step look bigger than it was. Let's be honest, the coverage was okay. He just put that ball in perfect, perfect spot. And was also on the team last year, the first team linebacker next to Dobbs. Here's a ball thrown up for Fisher, and he came down with it on the sideline. Hayden Fisher, the sophomore, 6 1, throw it up to him, and what a play. That gets this crowd back into it, and what a conversion for this Warriors offense. Great catch. Uh, first of all, he, he locates the ball, and then the ability to make that over the shoulder grab, that was remarkable. Got to figure if this ball doesn't get to the end zone, Merrimack will probably use their last time out and at least consider going for it. But Ooh, I think they'll kick. Here's Zergiotis up the middle into the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Pat Conroy. Merrimack with an answer. Big time TD, big time throw from Zergiotis. Careful, this is where something might see before Holy Cross might come after it. The snap gets there. The punt is blocked, and it goes through the back of the end zone for a safety. So two points for Holy Cross. All things considered, it could have been worse if they had fallen on it for a touchdown. But now, Crusaders get the two points and they'll get the ball back after the safety on the block punt. 15 yard penalty sets up. Crusaders at the Warriors 30. It's Luca down the middle, it's intercepted. Picked off by Roseman and he'll go down. So Gary Roseman had the holding, just a play ago, and then comes up with a big pick. Liam Davis's field goal make was recorded from 32, so they're gonna have to get a good amount of yardage to get there. McCusker got his, he threw, it's up in the air, and it's intercepted. It's picked off in the secondary after McCusker got hit as he threw it. Walter Reynolds comes down with the interception. And Holy Cross comes away with the turnover. He has been the running back most often used. They fake it to him this time. Zergiotis looking for the home run ball, the end zone. It's Conroy, and he came down. That's a touchback. It's a touchback. It was intercepted. Conroy went up for it, and Holy Cross came down with it. Wow. It was Hunter Burns who went up on the jump ball. And wow. He came down with it. Big time pick from the strong safety senior from Milford, Connecticut there. Take a look at this once again. I thought Conroy had this So did I. He took it away from him. Oh man. 
Conroy had it. He that. took it away from him. You know, they're on their way, barring, you know, a strange ending here, but... There's got to uh, be a happy medium. Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, the amount of personal foul penalties we've seen tonight is, has been atypical. Sluka has a wide open man on the right sideline, slips by one defender, barreling towards the end zone, and crossing over. It's a touchdown for Jalen Coker. Plenty of first down yardage, a minute and six left here. And rolling to his right, pumps. Now looking for Carter, who's all alone, over the top. That's a positive to end on. Zergiotis to Carter, a touchdown toss from 11 to two. And as you said, Merrimack back here next weekend. Next Friday night, another Friday night lights game as they welcome Division II Assumption to town, the former stomping grounds of Holy Cross head coach Bob Chesney. For our entire crew here at Dwayne Stadium, my broadcast partner Jacob Van Rien, our entire crew, I'm John Avino saying so long from Dwayne Stadium. The final score once again, 31-17 Crusaders over the Warriors. This has been a presentation of NCAA FCS football on NEC Front Row.